Okay, A, B, C läuft. Sound ist okay. I need for the synchronization later. Yeah. Yes. Das ist doch in Ah, aber Ah. Okay, scusa, eh. Poi ti domando, va bene? Non hai distretto già. Abbiamo rischiato di rompere. Ok. Hi and welcome here on pierosini.com, the wine show. And well, today I am yeah, still in Tuscany. I um, yeah, moved yeah, south side to, to the Marama. I am today here at, um, not Chateau, it's uh, Azienda Tenuta Petra, that's correct? Yeah, that's right. Hi, uh, nice to have you here my show. And next to me is, um, what's your name actually? It's like... Paolo Trappolini. Paolo Trappolini, who is, uh, well, he's the technical director of, of Petra. And um, Paolo, could you tell my audience something about um, Petra? Because I mean, it's a, you see it here in the pictures, quite monumental uh, um, yeah, winery. Yes, that's right. It's like a monument, but Petra basically is the aventure of Miss Famiglia Moretti yes. uh, in Tuscany. Famiglia Moretti is... A, Sparkling wine, famous, Bella Vista. Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, Vittorio Moretti, long time ago, decided to produce a, a sparkling wine in Francia Corta and uh, uh, along the time uh, he uh, built the two wineries. One uh, is uh, Bella Vista, the other one is uh, Contati Castaldi. But for uh, the red wines, he looked for uh, the best place, uh, the best region in, uh, in Italy. Uh, for uh, make wine and uh, he chose uh, the Tuscany uh, but uh, not uh, Chianti classic or Brunello yeah. area but uh, uh, Val di Cornia area so along the coast and uh, well this winery was built up when actually well Mr. Moretti uh, by the, um, the, the, the the farm in uh, 1997, but uh, the actually winery was uh, building between 2001 to okay. 2003. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Moretti um, decided uh, to, to, to have a very innovative uh, winery yeah. for uh, make wine for the process it, of it, wine. It looks and like, then, yeah. And then uh, in charge of um, him, a friend, Mario Botta, yeah. to draw the, the, the line. The, the, Quite famous also. Yeah, eh? Yes, it's very famous. <laughs> and uh, um, for the winery, the, uh, Petra was the, the, the first and the most famous uh, opera of Mario Botta. Okay. So in, it's quite big also, I guess. I guess, Petra, how many hectares do you have in production? Well, totally are uh, 300 hectares, but uh, vineyards are just uh, 95 hectares. So okay. It's enough. Um, 95 hectares uh, uh, divided in uh, three different uh, microclimates. Um, we will talk later about the varieties. Uh, talking about the microclimates, the three differences. What, what, yes. what is the difference between? Between those um, yeah, microclimates? Basically, we are very close to the sea, yeah. and the sea uh, gives a special climate. Very between warm. two gulfs, right? Yes. Yeah, is it very important for you? Or? Well, it is important, it is important enough, but uh, basically, we have a, a lot of sun, yeah. uh, light that helps the, the bind to arrive at perfect uh, maturation. It's warm area. Yeah. And there's also a wind yeah. uh, Coming from the sea, that yeah. comes from the sea and uh, give uh, a special condition to the vine, yeah. that, especially in the um, maturation time. Yeah. So between uh, end of July to end of August, the middle of September. Yeah, really is very fresh important. breeze. Yeah, enjoyed it this morning when I arrived here. It was quite hot, and then it came the breeze. It was it's, really, uh, uh, I think it's, it's fresh enough in the morning, very yeah. hot uh, during the day, yeah. and uh, fresh again on wind uh, in the evening. It's good ventilation for the yeah. Yeah, for the for the wines. Okay, so um, we are going now to take uh, to taste the first wine. A beautiful bottle, by the way. Nice style. It's Petra. 2007. And seven. Yeah. Um, 
Well, Petra is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, right? And Merlot. Yeah, that's right. And uh, in this harvest, so we have 70% of Cabernet Sauvignon, 30% of uh, Merlot. Yeah. Have, uh, thank you. It's for you, Cabernet Sauvignon, you think it's good adapted nowadays? I mean, it has established because, I mean, home, I don't know how many well, years now. Cabernet Sauvignon is uh, established in uh, this area since a uh, long time ago. And uh, maybe, yeah. I, I believe that has uh, found uh, in this area a New great, home, eh? uh, great condition for yeah. uh, give a uh, great quality. Yeah. Very strong, very powerful wines, very important wines, but in the same time also elegant wines. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think a Cabernet can really can handle the, the hot temperatures, right? Really good. I mean, uh, the hydraulic stress here, but you have, um, well, you're well organized, I know. Yeah. And um, well, the, the, the wines here from the Cabernet, you, you said that it's the first, was the first wine of Mr. Moretti. Yes. So they are quite old. Well, he's quite old. They are like 15 years now. So. Yeah, 15 years. He uh, started to produce Petra, this, this type of wine. Uh, just when uh, he bought the, the winery, so in 1997, yeah. first production uh, was uh, made by uh, the old vineyard, uh, where the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Merlot were okay. at 50%. Yeah. So at the beginning, uh, Petra was a blend of uh, 50 and 50, 50% of Cabernet Sauvignon, 50% okay. of Merlot. Along, uh, during the time, uh, the blend is changed and now is uh, 70%. Uh, Okay. of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and 30% of Merlot. Yeah, and um, well, the daughter of Mr. Moretti, uh, she's, she's also participating here? Uh, she's of playing course. a big role? Uh, Francesca Moretti, uh, we can say that uh, she built the, the winery because uh, uh, she um, worked in the winery uh, when the winery was uh, building and okay. uh, she uh, study all the soil by yeah. uh, him uh, teacher. Okay. At the time she was in the university, Milano University, and she studied Enology by... Enology also? She is an enologist, yes, okay. of course. Is it she, she who has born a baby now? Is it right? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, congratulations, yeah, from here, yeah. <laughs> from me. Uh, I mean, it's the next generation, L right? Lorenzo uh, is uh, born at, uh, at the end of uh, December, last December. Okay. And Alice, the, the first uh, daughter, is uh, two years ago, three years ago. Okay, so uh, I hope that Lorenzo will see this video maybe in, yeah, when we start drinking wine, right? Enjoying <laughs> wine, okay? So, um, uh, well, the, the process here, I think, well, I think it's like, uh, it's a, like a selection, of course. Yeah. yeah? And, um, wow, beautiful It came from very hard selection and is produced in uh, 2007. 2007 was a warm uh, harvest, yeah. but a very, very interesting harvest in this area because uh, the wine that you taste about 2007 are very powerful, very wow. uh, warm in the taste, uh, very crispy in the same time. Yeah. Uh, you taste uh, Mediterranean uh, smells. Yeah, so, balsamic, yeah. Uh, balsamic yeah. smell, rosemary, um, yeah, like thyme. eucalypto, yeah. and uh, species, of course. Yeah. And uh, great, canary, great wine, yeah. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, black currant, yeah. It's, you can find nearly everything. I mean, it's really complex, right? It's very complex, intense, and uh, at the same time, uh, delicate. Okay, let's taste it. Wow. Yes, it's you have to really like um, super structured, balanced acidity, really, it's a really refreshing acidity. Tenants are. Yeah, quite high quality. Um, for me, I have a special uh, term, it's like Maserati tenants, really good. That means they have really high quality, really stylish tenants. And, um, well, you have this, um, yeah, nice fruit aromas, this, this, this herbs, this, this is, um, um, dark berries, really great, and uh, Rolinga is really good. I mean, this one is really uh, particular, actually, Petra. Um, it's, uh, do you know how much? normal person would pay for the wine? 
the for this wine uh, in, in the restaurant uh, or in uh, Enoteca you can pay around uh, 50 euros. Yeah, I think it's really worth because it's really good quality wine which has, uh, I think, also good uh, aging potential. And uh, I tasted uh, not a long of time ago uh, the first production 1997 wow. and it was great a year. very great year yeah. and the wine was very very fresh. Yeah. So 15 years and the wine was fresh. Okay. That means that can uh, age for a really very long, okay. long time. I give you my phone number later when you're going to open next bottle. Of you course. can call me. Will yeah? be will be a pleasure to okay. taste with uh, some friends. Uh, okay, so. good. Well, this is uh, unfortunately the end, and uh, I hope that you uh, had fun and get uh, really cool inside aspects here of um, Tenuta Petra and uh, had fun and a lot of images here right now and um, well I can really recommend those wines and or these wines and uh, well and I really hope uh, yeah that I see you in the next clip. 